Welcome back everyone. We are back to playing Kingdoms of Amalur. Hope your day is going well. Hope it hasn't been too rough. We need to head back to the lodge. Um, we need to sell some stuff because we are pretty high on inventory right now. Easy enough there. Okay. I'll add that to the junk. Um, we also want to look around for potential treasure chests or anything like that. Oh, like this. There we go. Uh-oh. Well, now we are officially maxed out on inventory. That's not good. Don't want to fight those guys. Let's just go this way and avoid the fight. Grab that real quick. Oh, crap, they saw me. We can get away, though. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw a bar guest again. Okay. Let's go back to the lodge. And like I said, we'll just essentially go sell all of our stuff and then head back out into the wilds. Potentially pick up a quest, but we'll see. Thorm Lodge. go. I completely forgot to start a timer, so that's great. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go see what this guy has to say. Well, it's always nice to see a passerby. You're the traveler I'm waiting for, eh? Shall we get to business? Um, who are you again? The Vorms know talent when they see it. I practically run this lodge for them. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, stay away from the Star Camp up the road if you can. What's wrong with the Star Camp? Run by the travelers. A bunch of damn thieves. Lost nearly everything while dicing to them. Our house is leasing me this shirt for a third of my wages. And it's got holes in it. Gotcha. What are your thoughts on the Travelers? Don't listen when people tell you that Travelers only value the freedom to do what they wish. They also value what's in your pocket, and whatever else they can take from you. And that includes stripping your shirt from your back. Gotcha. I've come for Draugr's toothpicks. Yes. I was recently contacted by Star Camp about selling the daggers, which I acquired at considerable risk and expense. So I think it's fair that I change the deal. I want to be paid in full upfront. Then I'll notify you where the daggers can be recovered. That said, you can pay me now, and this can all be over with. Huh, come on, be reasonable. I suppose you're right. I'd rather not get on the bad side of the travelers. I can part with the daggers for half of what I was originally asking. Sounds good, here you go. Wait, are you serious? I I mean, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I hid the daggers in the she. There's a map in my strong box upstairs. You can unlock it with this key and claim the toothpicks. Huh. See you around. Let's go grab that real quick. Oh, I don't have enough space to freaking take it. Okay, let's go sell this stuff real quick. Well met. 
Um. Oh, Vorm. So this guy must be selling stuff, right? Welcome to our haven in the Shi. I am Citric Vorm. My brother Arhouse and I give assistance to any wayfarer that may need it. Hmm. You look a lot more hearty than the sort we typically get here. You might be able to help me. Um. I'll talk to you here in just a second. I'll see you later. Welcome to our lodge. Surprised you made it out here by yourself. The she is a dangerous place. Lucas Soren. The poor soul in the next room. She did not fare so well. Uh, let me see your shop real quick. Sorry. I need to sell my junk. Um, okay. He sells gems. Okay. Oh, that's all that he sells? Just gems. Okay. Uh, what happened to her? She was attacked by a thresh. Normally a fatal encounter in and of itself. Barely managed to make it here before passing out. That wasn't enough. She's had a rare reaction to the thresh's usually benign venom. Only thing that will save her is a rare plant found in the she. But I cannot venture out to get one. Gotcha. I'll go get one. You will? Well, if you manage to bring me one, I'll reward you with what I can. I've heard that seer stalk grow near flowing, misting water, so you might try following the river north. I thought I heard the roar of waterfalls when I once wandered up there. They didn't go far enough to find out. The she, you know. Gotcha. Um, tell me a little about yourself. The Vorms have always been traders. I took to the sea early in my life. I always knew I was going to captain my own ship. But fate has its way with you at times. After Rathir, I needed to get as far away from the sea as I could. I do miss the ocean. I've come to realize that there are other joys in life. Gotcha. What can you tell me of Gunner? Gunner showed up one day begging for help. Said he was a poor miner from Tatir who lost his job when his mine shut down. Not sure I believe him, though. Hired him more out of pity than anything. Not sure he can actually do anything useful. Gotcha. And tell me more about Luca. She managed to tell me her name before passing out. That and uh, a thresh had attacked her. I tried to help her as best I could. Even gave her my room to recover in. But nothing has helped. I'm afraid it's only a matter of time. Gotcha. What can you tell me about your brother? My younger brother. After I went to sea, he, he couldn't wait to join me. My parents wouldn't let him. Said he was too young. But after they died, the sea was the only place for him to go. After the trouble in Rathir, I told him he didn't have to come with me. But he insisted that family stick together. What happened in Rathir? The great Gokulfar city in eastern Arathel. A great port with many a profit to be found. Must have sailed in and out of there more than any other port in the continent. But war has changed Rathir. They're not as friendly as they used to be. Gotcha. What can you tell me about the Sheed? This forest has been trying to kill me ever since we got here. It's not Boggart springing out of the bushes, it's Brownies trying to take a bite out of my ass. I tell you, I much prefer the ocean. At least the things trying to eat me there are down under the water. Gotcha. What, can you tell me more about the Thresh? I haven't seen one myself, but I've heard they're dangerous things. Demented trees with branches sharp as razors. Normally, they're surrounded by boggarts. So if you see any of those, keep your eyes open. The thresh may not be far behind. Gotcha. Another time, then. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what this guy has to say real quick. How are you finding the she? Uh, you said I could help? We've had several visitors from Detir tell us that they were savagely ambushed by brownies. Unusual. Brownies of the Shi are not that aggressive. They mostly keep to themselves and only attack when approached. If there is indeed a group of brownies ambushing travelers, then those monsters need to be taken care of. I'll take care of them. Good. I'll see that you are rewarded for your efforts. I still have trouble believing those brownies would be so aggressive. Most unusual. Gotcha. What can you tell me about your brother? We lost our parents when I was young. 
And since then, he's always looked out for me. When he went to sea, I followed him. When he settled here, I did the same. Gotcha. What can you tell me of Detir? It's a barren desert full of greedy miners and vicious bandits. Our house and I did our best to avoid it when we traveled here. And I'd suggest you do the same. Gotcha. What can you tell me about Gunnar? My brother hired him, although I don't know why. Whenever there's work to do, Gunnar seems to disappear. Gotcha. Any idea on Luca in there? Our house found her outside one morning, barely alive, mumbling incoherently. From her ravings, our house figured that she'd been attacked by a thresh. Nasty creatures, those. Amazing that she made it so far after being so grievously wounded. Gotcha. Um, tell me a little about yourself. Me? I don't have much to tell. I followed my brother to sea after our parents died. I enjoyed being on the ship. There was a solace there. But the ports? I cared little for the crowds. I know our house misses the ocean, but I love the solitude of the forest. Gotcha. Can you give me any advice on the Sheed? A dangerous place, to be sure. But I find its dark depths peaceful. The solitude a welcome change over the bustling ports of Rathia. But it's not without its lighter side. Just the other day, I saw our house go sprinting by with a brownie attached firmly to his ass. I've never laughed so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, what can you tell me about the Thresh? A Thresh is a vicious fey creature. A twisted spirit of the trees. You'll find them deep within the she. I steer clear of them, and I suggest you do the same. But if you find yourself up against one, set it ablaze. They make a merry bonfire. Gotcha. Goodbye. Good hunting. Okay, let me just take a look real quick. Is there anything back here? That we can talk to her. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. We will check that out here in just a second. Well met. Okay, first things first, let's go handle this Thresh. Then we'll kind of go from there. Okay. Looks like this way. Well then. Let's go take out this Thresh. Um, anything over here that's crazy? Nope. Let's go take a look. Ooh. I'll grab this chest real quick. Add a chunk. Take those. I can sneak up on these boggarts. 
There's four of them, though. I don't know if I can. Oh, here we go. Nice. Except I alerted the other ones. There's a point, really. I'm pretty sure it's saying the thrush is over there. Ardua. Okay. Ooh, Executioner's Great Sword. Oh, pfft. Not even close. Okay, let's get this plant. There we go. Yeah, let's just go real quick. Return to her to get this medicine. And then we'll come back out here and potentially fight the thresh. Than deserve it. I shall administer this to Luca at once. The seer stalk should make quick work of the venom. Safe travels. Sounds good. We need to make sure she's okay. Stranger, our house tells me if it were not for you, I would not have recovered. I am not accustomed to such injury. Usually, I am more than capable of taking care of myself. I have no desire to encounter that thresh again. Yeah, I'll kill the thresh. Where's it at? Do not make that claim lightly, for a thresh is not something so easily overcome. In truth, I would walk easier through the she knowing the thresh has been removed. Please reconsider, for though I wish to see an end put to this creature, I would not risk your life or that of any other. I'm not afraid, it's okay. If you are determined to defeat it, I will tell you where I encountered it. But go with care, for I have no desire to send you to your death. The Thresh attacked me in the Eastern She, south of the river. Gotcha. What can you tell me of our house? I would not have survived if he had not found me. He's been very kind to me while I recover. Gotcha. Tell me a little about yourself. I still feel weak, but I am better, thanks to you and our house. I came to the She in search of my father, who has been missing for some time. I thought he might be here, for he is obsessed with the Fey Hollows of Dalantar. Our house was kind enough to offer lodging while I searched. He is a most interesting Varani. Gotcha. What do you think of his brother? sort, but if you can get him to speak, he has a disarming sense of humor. He defers to our house when within the lodge, but it's Citric who takes the lead should they venture into the She. Gotcha. What can you tell me about the She? There was a time when all of Dalantarth was as the She is now. Primordial. Ancient. Knowing. It is a place of fame magic, both wild and immortal. Tread carefully in its depths. Nature, for all her beauty, can be cruel. 
Gotcha. What are your thoughts on the travelers? You have not seen much of the world if you know not of the travelers. Entertainers, gypsies, thieves. They go where they want, when they want, and more often than not, take what they want along the way. I hear they are always open to recruiting new blood, so if you have a talent, perhaps you should introduce yourself. Gotcha. And any more thoughts on the Thresh? You shall not find a more malevolent Fae. I had hoped to avoid them while I traversed the Shi. I fled as soon as I saw the Thresh. I did not flee fast enough. Gotcha. Goodbye. Later, then. Okay. Let's go take out this Thresh. Okay. So we've got some stuff there. I'm not really going to worry about that just yet. Yeah, let's go back this way. And we'll go take care of the, uh, the enemies we saw. Who is this? Hello. The she can be dangerous to one such as yourself. Oh, okay. Let's try to recon that way. So let's cross the river here. Looks like there's more of those. up on them. Yep, too many. Oh, that wouldn't work. this though oh the toothpicks nice See if I can do this. Nice. Uh, nothing good though. Oh, I don't think I can hop down there. Can I? Nope. Interesting. Well then, what's right here then? Hello. You are a curious creature. Merely a child of dust, and yet... Something about you is new. You must be the one that Neuralim has sensed. 
Have you come to enter the great city of Isa? Uh, what's Isa? The heart of the Summer Fay and the font of life in Dalantarth. Few are worthy of entering our city of Isa, but sometimes an exception can be made. Gotcha. Yeah, I want to enter. Then you will need the blessing of Nirolim, and he's been expecting you since you set foot in his forest. Where is Nirolim? You can find Nirolim's lantern clad boughs to the southwest. Have no fear, for you are already known and welcome in his realm. Gotcha. Uh, so what can you tell me of Nirolim? The wisest mortal, the protector of Isa. Nirolim watches over us even now. Gotcha. What are your thoughts on the Fae? We Fae may be welcoming, but we are no fools. Not just anyone may enter our most sacred city without first proving themselves. Gotcha. So what can you tell me about the Isa itself? The heart of the Summer Fae, and the font of life in Dalantarth. Wise Nirolim protects it from predators and over-eager mortals. But sometimes an exception is made. What can you tell me of the Summer Court? The Summer Court in Isa is home to Tetarian, the wisest of the Summer Fae, and our High King. But now he is in mourning and sees few visitors. Gotcha. Goodbye. Let's speak with Nirolim. Okay. Ooh. There is a lore stone. He saw the saplings nourished by the gentlest of touches. He went to the river and said, Follow this path and you will never run dry. The river changed its course and fell onto the blaze. A tired sigh escaped the water. It remains as an azured mist upon the land, ringing with fate's song. Its broomy brow left a sheen of rich dew on every leaf and blade of grass. Whoa. Oh crap, there's a freaking thresh. Thresh. Let's go loot this bar guest. Now let's take out these guys. Dang. Let's just go across there. Who's this? Probably just another fate. Yep. Let's go across the water, take out these guys. Wait, what's over here? Anything crazy over here? Oh, yeah, this is where I just was. And there was a summer fay over there. Mm hmm. Actually, yeah, let's go take a look at that over there real quick. Very easy. Okay. Don't need any of that. Ugh. 
Oh, crap. Are no joke. Captain's armor. Wait, what? Ah, uh, looks cool, but I just want to see what it looks like real quick. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Nope. I like my other armor more, though. Okay. Let's go this way. Looks like there's tons of thresh over here, though. Which is interesting. Oh, yep. Here we go. He looks mean. Block all these. Two. Three. Four. Only four, okay. Oh, dang it. Ah, crap, look out. Four. Ah, jeez. Got him. this. There we go. Jeez. Okay. What the heck is that? Oh, that's creepy. Why is my controller vibrating so much? Oh, because it's that. <laughs> Okay, uh, ooh, equipment requirements, damage with ranged. Ooh. Hmm. Plus percent damage with range. We don't really have any damage with range, though. No, we're just going to add to junk. And junk, that's fine. Okay. Oh, those are creepy. Very, very creepy. Um, okay, yeah, so we basically kind of done a loop here. Band of breadth. Nah. We're gonna do that. That. Take that. Now let's go check out this cart. Oh, what the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, 
guys are a little freaking... Little annoying buggers, aren't you? Okay. So the question then becomes, though, where is the last lore stone? That's what I want to know. Have I been everywhere now? There's no way I've been everywhere now, right? More sprites and a pile of rock. Hmm. Let's keep an eye out for the lore stones. Oh. Looks like I haven't been over here. Curious of balance. No. I get a shaman. Nope. Eh, that's right. Nope. Still don't see any lore stones though, which means could be freaking anywhere. Let's take oh I didn't realize there was a thresh. One, two, three, four. Hit those daggers. There we go. Okay, so now the question becomes, where is that last lore stone? Dang. Okay... I know I've been most of these places. potentially been. What's here? Meet near them. Oh, gotcha. Uh, oh, I haven't been up there yet. St. Edric Place. Might as well go do that real quick. And keep a lookout for lore stones anywhere. Hmm. I mean, eventually I'll be able to see them on the map whenever I get my detect hidden up. But it's not like I need the bonuses right now. Have I been over that way? I actually don't know if I've been over here. Oh, this is the way to Nirlum. Yeah, I haven't been over here, duh. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay, I was over here. Was that lore stone? Hmm. Okay. I just don't know where the last lore stone would be. I think I'm missing just one. Wait, what's up there? Wait, what's up there? I haven't been over this way yet. Maybe it's over here for all I know. What is over here? A 
this is a way to that place. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Wait, have I been? Yeah, I've been over there. Right? Yeah, Lorca Rain. Yeah, I've been to Lorca Rain. sneak up on it though Try and see what kind of missions they have up here. I think I just have to go return some of those prayer beads. Oh, and I need to go turn that other mission too. Okay, St. Edric's mission. Another aid one. What is this? Talk to Brother Holt. Oh, how I pray my ears deceive me then. <sighs> so it is true. The doubt in the back of my mind that was clawing its way forward is now here upon me. Thank you. Now, now I won't have to wonder any longer. Go in peace, child, and leave me to my prayers. Gotcha. Go with Matharu, child. It's a month of St. Edrix, monk of St. Edrix. Hello, child. Brother Edwin. It's nice to see a new face about. Please, stay. Enjoy the gifts of our benevolent Matharu. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye. Let's level up real quick. Let's see. Can't do that one just yet. Um, can't. Oh, we can't put one up to persuasion. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Confirm. Um, probably just into adrenaline surge. Finesse. Daggers again. Sorcery, I yeah, just go into that one. Confirm. Still adventure. Confirm. Okay. I'm pretty sure that other one is just a way to uh, get the book. Okay. Let's go turn in this other quest. And then we'll look at what other quests we have to do. We may be ready to go to Edenmere. what she says. Well, let's see what he says first. So, there was indeed a group of brownies attacking those on the trail to Detir. Well, here is the reward I promised for taking care of them. Still, it is strange that brownies would act in such a way. I wonder. 
What do you wonder? What would make them do that? I've heard of something that could make them act that aggressively, but it can't be here. We must go to Rundamir. It is the largest brownie den in the Shi. I'm sure we will find the answer there. Okay, let's do it. Make sure you are prepared. Brownies may look weak, but they are ferocious in large numbers. After you are ready, head south. Rundamir is a fey hollow on the edge of the Shi. I will meet you there. Okay. What are your thoughts on Luca? Hard to believe she came so close to death now that she's recovered so quickly. Our house has been showing her around the lodge and talking her ears off about his days as a sea captain. Funny. I've never seen our house act like that around anyone before. Hmm. Interesting. Um, what are your thoughts on Rudimir? Rundimir? It is a fey hollow on the southern edge of the Shi. The brownies that inhabit it have never been more than a nuisance until now. Gotcha. Goodbye. Um, let's talk to her. You are a force to be reckoned with. It's not easy to defeat such a vicious monster. Please, take this reward. My heart will no longer be filled with dread when I venture into the Shi. Sounds good. Later, then. Let's talk to our house. Welcome back. Our house. What can I do for you? Um, our house. What are your thoughts on Luca? She's made a remarkable recovery. I knew she was a fighter. I don't know what her business in the she is, but I'm hoping she might stay a while longer. Interesting. Okay. Let's sell all junk. I just want to see what else we have here. Yeah, sell that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Farewell. Okay, let's go to Rundamir. Let's see what uh what we can try and find. <sighs> Kinda tired. Um, let's see, where are we going? We are going, oh, way over there. Let's go ahead and get our protection up and running. Okay. I'm still kind of looking around for a lore stone potentially, but I don't, I don't see one. I'm pretty sure for that one we're just going to have to wait until I get uh, my detect hidden up. Because like I said with the lore stones, it's actually pretty good to go uh, get the like the set of them if you can. Since you can... Oh, there we go. Let's see what he has to say. Good. You made it. It is as I feared. A Kruduk has made its lair at the bottom of this hollow. We will need to find it and kill it. What's a Krudok? Krudok are vile beasts, which feast on the flesh of the dead. For some reason, brownies flock to them, eager to act as soldiers, often bringing back kills so the Krudok can feast. Be wary of Krudok. Their spit is dead. Krudok. Well, we fought them, Arnie. So you said a Krudok. The Krudok is sending the brownies of Rundamir out to collect corpses for it to feed on. That is the reason they've been ambushing wayfarers in the Shi. We must find it and destroy it. Gotcha, sounds good. The teeth of a brownie can leave a hideous scar. Let's go then, come on. Ah, ow. Dang it. Dang it. Daggers of Carnage severely damaged. Wait, where's the last one at? Okay, one second. Oh, crap. Um, weapons. Secondary. Oh, dang. They are very damaged. Um, we're gonna have to take the Flame Blade for now. 
Just until I can repair the daggers. Okay. Dispel, here we go. Nice. The captain's boots. I just had the other ones. They're not very good, though. That's the downside to that. Um... Yeah, that's the only downside I would say to having, like, some of the loot in this game isn't leveled. Um, and it's kind of random whenever you can get it. Okay, we want to go... Let's go this way. Again. Easy enough. And we're just going to put everything away. Okay, let's go this way. Looking for any chests that may pop up as well. Oh, here we go. Ah, dang it. Oh, they back to back. Okay. The sword actually isn't that bad as a weapon either. Dispel. Holy crap. There we go. Long sword of accuracy. Yeah, there's no way. Add to junk, add to junk, add to junk. I mean, it's the same as what I currently have. Okay, let's see where we're going. Um, we may potentially be approaching the lair. Nice, dispelled chest. Tribal necklace, what does this do? Whoa. Interesting. Um and mana regeneration. You know what? I'm gonna equip that one. I like it. Uh not those though. And we have more mana as well. There's that, okay. Here we go. Wait, can I sneak up on this brownie? Oh, no, he already saw me. There we go. Okay, so definitely for what we're fighting right now, these... The longsword's not so bad. He's actually holding his own pretty well. How can I help? Um, yeah, you're actually doing really well. Okay. Let's see. We want to go this way. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Where's he at? There we go. Okay. Let's loot up real quick. Any chests? Yep, we've got these. Ooh, hard to spell chest, okay. Just shards, though. 
Ooh, okay. Uh, we need to backtrack. I'd like to explore the layers in full before we go fight the boss. The sword's actually not doing too bad. Um, especially with the fire damage, I think it's doing a little bit more to the brownies. And it can attack pretty quickly, too. That's usually why I would run a... Uh, oh, ow. Why I would run a long sword, great sword combo. Um, I do like the daggers, though. Okay, yeah, we can go this way. Then we need to make... Oh, I didn't realize there was a chest, like, right there. Oh, wait. No, that's the one I went to. Okay, let's go straight ahead first. Oh, jeez. Yeah, look at that. It's way easier than, uh, than the daggers were. Eventually we'll get better daggers, though, and then we don't have to really worry about it. The thing is that we're still using, I think, Azerite daggers, which aren't as good. There we go. Let's grab this. Preservation. Ah, nah. Junk. Leggings of ice hindrance. Nah. Junk. Junk. Okay. Ooh, make sure if we go that way too. Go to the middle there. Okay, here we go. Pestilence brownies. That's fine. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, just spell check is easy. There we go. Pff, yeah, just take all. Not too hard there. Ah, it ends right there, so we have to go all the way around. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Take that. Take all of those. Huh. How can okay. I help? Oh. Be careful. The teeth of a Go this way. How's your right fey blades? Nah. That's the other thing too, is I mean the longsword does 90 damage. Um, so it's pretty ins Oh, here we go, we're about to just fight it. Okay, here we go. Attracted to disease. You know what? Forget this. Oh, this is going to be bloody. Talk to me yet. Oh. With the Craddock dead, the brownies should cease their ambushes and the trail to Detir will be safe again. Thank you for your help. I would not have been able to defeat the monster on my own. Glad I could help. Goodbye. Goodbye. I've contracted a disease. Well, that's never good. Dang. 